Oh my God, has Wound War 3 started yet? Is it too late to buy gold or to buy Bitcoin? If the Wound War 3 doesn't get you, well, then maybe the banking crisis, the collapse of all those banks around you and the collapse of the US dollar might get you. Is it too late to buy Bitcoin or gold or you're gonna store it in cash? What would you do? The reason why you should take notice and maybe start panicking a little is because even the big guys, the really smart money, the governments, the spy agencies, they're all buying gold. See, central banks around the world bought the most amount of gold on record last year. Mm, central banks of, say, United States, China, Germany, Japan, Saudi Arabia, maybe they know something's going on, eh? I don't think anyone would say that I'm exaggerating when I say that perhaps now humanity is closer to World War III than we have ever been. And during such kind of a war or even a financial meltdown where all the banks collapse, we're probably going to need to be holding gold or maybe even Bitcoin. Well, certainly, if you're going to hold cash, where are you going to put it? This is because in a financial meltdown situation or in a world meltdown situation, doesn't matter if it's World War Three or if the banking collapse, you don't want to be putting your money in the banks because they're not going to be safe enough. What you want is something as solid as gold, like dig a hole in your backyard and dump it in there or have it in something like Bitcoin or crypto so it's on the internet. See, all the central banks already know that in a war scenario, a huge war scenario, cash is not safe because of what? Inflation. And see, during World War II in 1942, in the US, inflation soared from 10.3% to 28%, right? Between 1942 to 1946. And guess what? That's from United States who actually won the World War II. Imagine countries who lost, like Germany, they had hyperinflation. So here we see on the chart what happened to US inflation during or right after World War II. It basically soared. And remember, keep in mind, US was the winner. And also soared again in the 60s and 70s because of war in the Middle East that spiked oil prices. And guess what? It is entirely possible we could get both in the next three to five or 10 years. Whenever there's a freaking huge war going on, guess what happens to gold prices, right? Iran revolution, Iraq war, gold spikes, right? Iran, Iraq ceasefire. So when there's peace, gold prices tank, right? 9-11 attack, beginning of the Iraq war, gold prices take off again. This is what happens during every major crisis. People don't trust fiat money or paper money anymore. People turn to gold and now people might turn to Bitcoin. It is possible. And it's not just war. Small businesses or rich people, anyone with over $250,000 are now worried about putting their money in the bank because banks are collapsing, right? We just had four banks go down in one week and one of them was as big as Lehman Brothers, right? That was the Swiss bank called, called Credit Suisse. And we all know what happened when the Lehman Brothers collapsed. Now, U.S. Treasury Secretary Yellen is saying that they're committed to protecting bank deposits. So you kind of have to rely on the promise of these politicians that they're going to protect your bank deposits. Wouldn't some people, like if for rich people or businesses that have more than $250,000 in their bank account, don't you think they would want to just withdraw that money, park it in, say, Bitcoin or maybe park it in gold and stash it somewhere rather than keeping all of it in a bank? But is now the time to panic and run out to buy gold? I mean, unlike Bitcoin, which is still below 30K, gold is almost at new historical highs now. It's almost, almost at $2,000 per ounce. Is it too high to buy gold? Well, there is a major signal lately and see the yellow line, the gold line is gold price. And the blue line is basically the US real 10-year treasury yield the real 10-year treasury yield, and see how closely they track each other. So basically, gold prices kind of just follow the 10-year real treasury yield, right? And it's fired a major signal. Let me know if you want to know where gold price is going and if you are interested in buying gold or not. If enough people or viewers are interested, I'll make a second video to explain right now if it's the right time to buy gold or not.